Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandy Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So I'm gonna wait for more of you to get in here and we'll get started. You guys, I have been on TikTok, wow. I've been having a lot of fun on TikTok as well, you guys. So much fun. I now have 26,000 followers on TikTok. In, I mean, it's only been, I think, like a week. In a week, I got 26,000 followers. And it's been fun, you guys. I do have a dating show that I do on TikTok, and it's just amazing. Uh, my TikTok followers and subscribers, if you guys are here, shout out to all of you. There's so many times that I want to give up on TikTok, but you guys really came through and showed me that, hey, it's a fun place to be. And um, I'm not too old to be over there, despite what some people were saying, okay, that I'm too old to be on TikTok. I'm 38 years old. It's not the place for someone like me. Then later on, I found out there was older people than me on TikTok, you guys. And I'm so glad people are finding their soulmates on my platform. So in this video, I wanted to let you guys know that Wendy Williams is back. That's right, you guys. She's back. And I told you guys that Wendy Williams was working on a docuseries. And now it's out. It's called Where is Wendy Williams? It's going to be coming out on Lifetime. Okay, you guys, it's just something else. Um, very, very interesting. I'm going to share with you the observations that I have made as well on this documentary. And it's something else. Okay, you guys get in here, share the live, share the live as well. Um, and let me know your opinions on this. It's going to be premiering on Saturday, February 24th on the Lifetime Network. I will try to check it out so I can come back here and share my point of view further with you guys. So in this documentary, Wendy Williams family members are featured, except her brother, Tommy Williams. That's right, you guys. Tommy Williams has been calling out this documentary from the beginning, saying that it was used to expose his sister, and it does not make his sister look good in any type of way. He also called out her managers for trying to make her look bad. And guess what? He's right about that. Because if you check out the trailer, you will see you know, it appears like it is Will, her own manager, this guy over here, Big Will, her jeweler turned into her manager, exposing Wendy Williams drinking on camera. And Wendy's like, put it over there. Do not bring that over here. Put that over there. How does your own manager start showing on camera the empty bottles of alcohol that you've been drinking? This is not helpful, okay? I, I saw a lot in this trailer, you guys. I don't trust Will. I've told you guys that before. This man is trouble, okay? And he got paid very well for this documentary. Another person, all right, her publicist, Sean. Look at her over there watching Wendy Williams drink. Remember, her son has been saying, Wendy has been surrounding herself with enablers, but people who are also taking advantage of her. Yes, people. Okay, I was surprised to see the son involved in this documentary because when he did his interview with the Sun Media online, he said that he was offered money by Big Will, Wendy Williams' manager, his mom's manager, to be part of this documentary. They were offering his, him money and he was refusing to be part of this. But I see him here. So obviously he got paid to be part of this documentary. But one thing I do like about the son is he's sticking to his story. Everything he said to the Sun is exactly what, like the Sun media, is exactly what he's saying, even in the trailer, that his mom is being taken advantage of. His mom has worked so hard. She's surrounded by a bunch of yes people and enablers and users. So I love the fact that he came on here and his story is exactly the same. You know, shout out to Kevin Hunter Jr. He really loves his mom and cares about her. He has stuck to the, his same story. And I'm so glad that even if he was paid, well, obviously he was paid for this, but he he still kept his truth. You know, he did not change. He didn't switch sides at all. He still stands and remains where he was when he talked to the media. Okay, so it was good to actually hear his voice. 
It was good to see this young man. Honestly, he d I never seen him do an interview before. This is his first time doing an interview. Another person who made an appearance is Wendy Williams' sister. Okay, that's Wanda right there on the left. Wanda, 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 girl, we were wondering where you've been all this time. Okay, we heard you're a lawyer, you're a professional and stuff like that. We were wondering where you were. We had no idea where the sister was all these years. People were like, why can't the sister intervene? I heard because she's highly educated, has a really good job and all this kind of stuff. She doesn't really want to be associated with Wendy Williams publicly, but she made an appearance in the documentary. She was there. And another person you wouldn't believe that was in this documentary. Now, Wendy Williams' brother wasn't there. I didn't see him in the... Um, it seems he's been cut out. I didn't see him in the trailer. But guess who is lying on Wendy Williams' lap? Guess who is lying on her lap? Wendy Williams took off her wig. And she is just laying on Wendy Williams' lap, grabbing Wendy. And Wendy is wigless over there on the sofa. Black China herself. And you guys, I've been warning this girl to stay away from Wendy Williams because she's had issues in her life. And I just felt like Wendy might be bad news for her, but it is Angela White herself. Since when did Angela White make it to the documentary representing family members and Tommy Williams is not there? What is going on here? You guys, that is Black China. <laughs> That's Black China, you guys. That is Black China. And you know what? You guys, Black China has such a good heart. She has such a good heart. Like, I really want to. I've talked to you guys about that in the past. Black China has a really good heart. The way Wendy Williams did her dirty, you know, calling her homeless, that she had no place to live, and all this kind of stuff. Remember when Wendy did that to her? Remember when she did that to her, you guys? Let's not forget about that. Wendy exposed the fact that uh, Black China sent her a text message and was asking Wendy for a place to live. Like, do you have a place that I can stay because I don't have a place to live? And she's also was a single mother at the time. And Wendy Williams was exposing this to the public. And here you see Black China in Wendy Williams' home, holding her like a mother figure, like she loves her. You can see the love that this young lady has. She has such a great heart, you guys, Angela White. Because I remember how Wendy did her dirty. Wow. Wow, 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 you guys. Where is everybody? How are you guys? Like the video, you guys. Like the video. Like, like, like. And make sure you're following me as well on TikTok, you guys, because that's where I am nowadays, okay? If I'm not here, you can find me on TikTok, you guys. Go and Follow me over there. If you're single, you need a date, I can help you out, okay? People are meeting their soulmates on my TikTok, you guys. No lie, okay? It's happening. You know, girls are jet setting. Guys are going to their countries to pick them up, meet them, go on dates, everything. Anyway, maybe Wendy needs to be on my TikTok show in the future, okay? But I'm worried, guys. She's going to be a target guys are definitely going to use her. She's an easy target, you guys. She's very vulnerable. And plus, she doesn't have access to her money right now. And let's just be honest, if Wendy Williams did not have the money that she has, some of the guys would not be with her. Okay, let's just be honest about that. Monique, great to see you. Monique says, hey, y'all, congrats on the followers. Thank you so much, Monique. I'm happy to have you here. Catherine Richardson, I missed you. Have you been? By the way, she says, can't wait to hear your show. You guys, it is something else. But anyway, back to Wendy, you guys. All right, let's just talk about this. This docu-series, do you guys think that it makes Wendy Williams look good? Be honest. If you saw the trailer, what do you think? Okay, what do you think about it? Sincerely, does it make her look good? For me, it looks like <laughs> uh, mm, it's not helpful. It's not helpful. And I saw that Will tried to make her manager tried to make himself look good. But as soon as I saw him showing the alcohol, what kind of manager are you? 
You're supposed to be someone's manager. You're not supposed to be exposing to the camera that they drank a whole bottle. Like, sir, you're not a friend. This is not what friends do. And this is what Tommy was talking about, her brother. You know, his big issue with this man right here, Will, and the publicist, Sean. Take a look at her watching Wendy Williams drink. She's just sitting there on her phone. And then she was on the media talking about how, you know, Wendy Williams is doing great and all this kind of stuff. They were also hiding the fact that Wendy Williams was also in rehab. Their family members couldn't even find where she was and all this kind of stuff. Wendy Williams came back now, you guys, because she's here to promote her Lifetime documentary. Okay? That was set up by her manager, Will. Wendy Williams shows up because she wants to get paid. But based on the trailer and what I saw, you guys, it does not make her look good. It does not make her look good at all. At all. It's further showing us that, oh, Wells Fargo was right about locking up her money. Okay? It further tells us that, oh, this woman has no control over her life. You know, even her own driver was like, I think she's having mental issues. I think she's having a mental breakdown or something like that. This is not helpful. Wendy, the goal was to try to make you, I thought you want to look like you can handle yourself, that this was an improper diagnosis or something like this. But instead, this documentary is exposing you. Okay, it's exposing her in every angle. Her own manager is out here exposing her in this documentary, it appears. Why would you bring this to the camera crew? Wendy started warning this guy, put that away. Wendy has always tried to protect, like, you know what I mean? When she's like smoking and stuff, or she's doing inappropriate stuff, if she knows the cameras are around, she'll always hide stuff. She's very good because, you know, those are how addicts are. People who have an addictive, you know what I mean, addicts and stuff. They're good at hiding. They're good at lying. They're good at disguising a lot of the stuff that they're doing because of shame. Okay? So to have the manager come out in front of the camera and to say, oh, you drank all of this. Not helpful. The manager must be fired. Wendy, what are you doing? By the way, Wendy looks good. I must say she looks good. I have to give her credit, actually, here. She, she looks really good. Um, I'm really proud of her appearance, um, the hair. You know, I, I like this. This is, this, is a good, this is a good start. It's giving me a little bit of hope. Okay, it gives me a little bit of hope here. You know, I appreciate this very much. But this man next to her, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, no. No, Will and Sean, these two people got to go. They have to go. All right, Wendy needs her family. And Black China, I suggest she stays away from Wendy as well. She's been trying to make a transformation in her life. She does not need to be with somebody who has an addictive personality. Black China has overcome so many challenges in her life. Um, and it's just not a good idea sometimes if you're somebody who's, you know, had some addictive past and whatever, um, and issues, it's sometimes good to leave these friends alone. I know Black China cares for Wendy, but it's better to just distance yourself. Let this woman figure out herself because it can take her down the wrong path. When you surround yourself with other enablers and all that kind of stuff, um, it's just too much. Also her own mom, Tokyo Tony, that lady is also very toxic too. Um, so mm, it's just a lot. She's, she's, mm, she's, been through a lot. Okay. Up next, Wendy Williams' dad is in the bio or the documentary, the bio, the documentary as well, the docu series or whatever. And it's, by the way, it's like a two day series from my understanding. Um, take a look at the dad and the sister, Wanda. There they are meeting with Wendy. Wendy said all she needs is her family. You know, she's longing for her family. The dad was like, Wendy, it's so good to see you again. And I'm so happy to see that um, Wendy Williams' sister supports her. That really made me happy, you guys. That, that made me so happy uh, to see that um, because I always, all these years talking about Wendy, I always wonder, where's her sister? 
you know, and Wendy would always say, well, she's highly educated and all this kind of stuff. She's a professional. She's not part of this entertainment world and everything. But the fact that I see the sister coming out, it tells me that there's serious things going on here. But it looks like the sister would have been willing to be, a, uh, to be, you know, responsible and help Wendy out with her finances and stuff. But she wasn't given the opportunity. Tommy Williams, however, we've seen him here on YouTube. He has a podcast. You know, he's been vocal about all of this, trying to stand for his sister. But he's also called his sister trash. OK, he's called his sister trash because the sister would not open up the door, you know, for her son. She was inside her apartment sometimes doing some things and he got really upset for her birthday. Her son came up to see her. But Wendy was not opening the door for her son. He came all the way from Miami, um, from my understanding, all the way to New York to her penthouse, and the son was waiting outside, wanting to celebrate his mom's birthday, but his mom refused to open the door. And that's why Tommy was calling his sister trash, okay? And by the way, some of you said that Wendy Williams is actually a good mother. The fact that she did not open the door for her son so her son can see her you know, back to her addictions and bad habits and stuff, that means that she's a good mom. You know, that's what a good mother would do. But the son, your son is coming from out of town to celebrate your birthday. You refuse to open the door for him. How do you think your son is going to feel when you do that? Not a good thing. So that's why his uncle was really concerned. Like, this is not right. She's not okay. And she's being taken advantage of. And that's why her brother has been very vocal. For Tommy Williams, um, getting a check, I guess, from this documentary was not worth it. If it means exposing his sister and making his sister look bad, he was not willing to do it. Okay? That's from my understanding. That's what I assume from everything he was saying and speaking against this documentary. So far from what I've seen from this trailer, it does not look good. It does not look good. She is being exposed. I already see who the enablers are. I already see the people who are trying to use her addiction and all that kind of stuff as a storyline. You know, Will here bringing the alcohol into, you know, the scene. Also the publicist, Sean here, as you can see, just watching Wendy drinking. That's all they do. That's all they do. This is not family, you guys. It's a business relationship. That's all it is. That is all it is. Wow, wow, wow. Let me get to the comments. Let me see what you guys are saying. But Wanda, thank you for coming out. You know, you guys, she's a, she's a classy lady, down-to-earth lady, the sister. Very classy, down-to-earth lady. Um, let's see here. Um... Monique says, I couldn't tell the doc was made by her. She looks down bad. You guys, exactly. It was like trying to make it seem like it was Wendy Williams. It's because Will doesn't want to say that he's the one. This was his idea. You know what I mean? So he wanted to give the full credit, like as if this is Wendy Williams' idea, but it's not. He's behind all of this. So he knows that if he said it was directed by him and he was the executive producer, he knows that a lot of people will be like, there we go. This man is in it for the money to take advantage of this woman. He's trying to make it seem like this is all Wendy Williams' idea. When he's actually the mastermind, he's actually the one that decided to do this. Wendy Williams did not executive produce anything. A woman that's out of her mind a woman that was out in New York, losing her mind, going from club to club. A woman that was said, alleged, well, not allegedly, you know, the staff, the former staff at the Wendy Williams show were saying she was exposing herself and all this kind of stuff. That lady, that lady that was coming to work under the influence and all that kind of stuff, that lady is the one that executive was the executive producer of this? Absolutely not. It's because Wendy Williams has a great relationship with Lifetime. Will doesn't. You know, Wendy has done her documentaries. You know, Wendy Williams, what a mess. She also did her Lifetime movie and stuff like that with Lifetime. They love her. They have a good relationship with her. 
Okay, so that's the reason why they agreed to take this on. They don't have a relationship with Will. Will is just a jeweler turned into a manager. Okay, this is a man who sees an opportunity in Wendy Williams' brand and her name. Janet Jenkins, I miss you. Great to see you. Janet Jenkins says, Wendy should just retire. Yep. And her son has also been saying that, telling his mom, please, mom, you don't need to keep working. This is your time to take off. You've worked enough. But his mother is addicted to working. She said she's also like addicted to fame in the trailer. She's always loved being famous. Basically, Wendy Williams feels like she is a nobody. If she is not famous and she is not known and she's not relevant, She's worried about being forgotten. She doesn't want people to forget her, you guys. Like the video, everyone. Share the video. We're talking about Wendy Williams. She's back, and she's back to promote her Lifetime docuseries called Where is Wendy Williams? And it does not make her look good at all, okay? It doesn't make her look good at all. The trailer is just, mm. well, I will watch, and we will see. But so far, Will is doing his dirty work. And Sean, the publicist, is just sitting on the sideline watching the, the yes people. These are the yes people in Wendy Williams' life that Tommy Williams and the son talk about, okay? These are the people that they are talking about, the users, the opportunists, okay? The son is calling it out in this documentary. His uncle doesn't even want to be part of this documentary because of how bad it makes his sister look. And so far for me, the trailer does not make her look good at all. Nope, not a good look. Let's see here. Great to see you, sis. Sis says, I wonder how she pays her manager and publicist. She'd be broke. Oh, sorry, I'd, um, publicist. I'd, she'd be, she is broke. You guys, she actually has money. But the Guardian, Sabrina Morsey, has control over the money. Remember the Guardian I told you about? The judge ordered for Sabrina Morsey to take over. You guys remember I told you guys about Sabrina Morsey? Okay? Big Will has a relationship with her. Okay? This was also exposed by Wendy Williams' son. All right? I'm going to show you guys um, just a refresher for some of you guys who may not know this. Okay. All right. So let's start off here. When Wendy Williams started having issues with Wells Fargo, this is the judge. These, this is the real judge, you guys, that ordered for Wendy Williams to stay in New York and for Wendy Williams' son, if he did not return Wendy Williams from Miami to New York, that he would be arrested and charged, okay? This is the judge. Yep. The son talked about all of this. He talked about it all, you guys. Talked about it all. All right? This judge has a lot of power over his mom's life. Okay? Has a lot of power. But I've told you guys this as well. Now I want to show you guys her guardian. Kevin Hunter in the documentary says that he does not feel that um, the guardian, Sabrina Morsey, has been protecting his mom and doing a good job. Sabrina Morsey is the blonde lady. So these two women are very powerful. The Burnett is the judge that assigned Sabrina Morsey, the blonde lady here. That lady, the blonde, is the one that has control over Wendy Williams' money and finances. Okay? She's the guardian. She handles everything. Okay? These are the real people, you guys. And you guys have been wondering the lady at the bank at Wells Fargo. Remember the woman at the bank that decided to lock up her money? She used to be a friend of Wendy Williams, handling Wendy Williams' account. This is her. 
Okay. This is her before she removed her social media pages and stuff. This is the real woman that when Wendy Williams decided to fire her, that's when she decided to lock up her money. Wendy Williams is used to trying to do business with friends and all that kind of stuff. That's why she's in trouble. Okay. She does not know how to separate relationships. You cannot have your friends handling your money and your finances. If your friends find out you're trying to fire them, they're going to sabotage and try to destroy you if you're not careful. Okay, so Kevin Hunter Jr., her son, revealed to the Sun Media when he did his first interview online that Sabrina Morsey and Will, her manager, have a relationship. Okay, so Sabrina Morsey actually checks in with Will, the manager not with the family members, allegedly, okay? So the family members never know what's going on. They never know what's going on. But Sabrina Morsey always makes sure that she is in contact with Will about everything that's going on. Oh yeah, you guys, all right? The people that have the most power and influence over Wendy Williams' life are these three people. The judge, all right, the Burnett lady, the blonde lady, Sabrina Morsey, and her manager, Big Will. Family members are not usually informed about what's going on with Wendy. The son has called out these people, okay? Wendy Williams' son has called these people out because his mom has a lot of money. They're taking advantage of her. He says, they don't care about her well-being. They just do not care. All right? They wanted her to go to New York, although they knew that all she needed was her family. And that's what Wendy says in this documentary. She wants her family. But she's also trapped. These people have a huge say over her life. Okay? Okay? So um, that's just a little background for any of you who are new here. Make sure you're sharing the live, you guys. Um, these people are very powerful in Wendy Williams' life. Very, very powerful. And Will also has a relationship with Wendy Williams' ex-husband as well. Oh, yeah, you guys. All right? You can't win when you're surrounding yourself. He is Wendy Williams' husband's jeweler. Wendy Williams' ex-husband buys his jewelry from him. Will used to be the jeweler for Wendy and her husband. She's surrounding herself with the wrong people. And then look at this man in the documentary, having the audacity to start showing empty bottles, alcohol bottles to the camera so they can expose her as an, you know, as a, a, you know, an addict and all that kind of stuff. That's the goal, right? He wanted to create a juicy documentary. So it's like, okay, let me make her look bad. Because Wendy's not going to show that she's drinking all this. Let me show it in the documentary. Let me show that she's an alcoholic. Let me show that she has issues. He's good friends. He has a relationship with um, Sabrina Morsey. Okay? You guys, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good at all. By the way, Wendy Williams' ex-husband has also talked about this as well. All right? That Wendy Williams is being taken advantage of. He also observed that as well. He also talked about that. But this guy is no good either. Okay? He also is, his life right now is going downhill. Kevin Hunter's life is going downhill. I haven't talked to you guys about them. But, you know, Serena... I even forgot her name. I'm calling her Serena. Sharina Hudson is also going through a lot. She can't even pay her credit card bills. She's going through so much right now financially. Okay. Wow. Anyway, you guys, uh, share the live. Let me know your comments down below. Um, it is just not easy to tell Wendy Williams' story. There are so many people involved. Okay. This was not Wendy Williams' idea. I wonder if he's going to include in the documentary when he was swearing at Wendy. This was the time, there was a footage that came out 
Look at how Wendy Williams looks miserable in all of this. Whose idea do you think is, is this for the camera to follow her around and to do this? This is not her idea. This woman was going through so much. She was in and out of like medical centers and all that kind of stuff. It's all Will, the man with the, with the brown jacket. It's all his idea. He's the mastermind behind all of this. Why? Because he's convinced Wendy, you need money. So this is how I'm going to help you, okay? But at the same time, he wants to get paid. I believe that Will feels that Wendy Williams owes him a lot of money because he's been trying to get him all these gigs and all this kind of stuff, right? And the guy is bad news. Bad news. The whole team she's working with, this is them. This is them. They tried to do the Wendy Williams Experience podcast, which never came out. The publicist was never consistent in the type of stuff she was putting out to the media. She was always sending out mixed messages. People were saying Wendy Williams wanted to move to Los Angeles. You know, she didn't want to do a podcast. Just so many mixed messages. Then they're over there saying, yeah, she does want to do a podcast. Yeah, she does want to do this. And it's like, no. It was just a fail. Um, she needs to get rid of all these people around her if she is going to improve her life. Thank God her son has been speaking out and his story still remains the same. All right, you guys, this, this is just my opinion based on the trailer. I've been wondering where Wendy is, but anyway, I knew she would eventually come out and she's come out now to uh, advertise and promote this Lifetime movie because this is part of her contract, right? This is part of her contract, but it's, it's just, it's not a good look. It's just not a good look. The documentary is not helpful at all. It does not make her look good at all. Um, Will, we see exactly what you're doing. We can see everything that you're doing. It's so obvious. And that's the reason why Tommy Williams called him out. And Wendy Williams' son has been calling him out as well. Okay, it's because this man sees an opportunity in this woman. He sees that this woman is very vulnerable. Wendy, oh, by the way, I never told you guys this. Maybe I'll talk about it in another video where Will was saying that Wendy Williams was trying to be with him. Oh, yeah. So embarrassing. This guy will do anything to embarrass her. You know what I mean? It's so important to him that um, he lets everyone know, like, oh, she was trying to pursue me. She was trying to be with me. He thinks he's so important and all that kind of stuff. When before, when he would go out with Wendy, it was him that was smiling and so excited to be seen out in public with her and everything. He was saying that Wendy was trying to be with him. But, sir, nobody can force you to be with them if you're not interested. You know, you like the fact that this is a powerful woman. This is your client. This is a woman that was putting money in your pocket. She still continues to do that until now. You were her jeweler. Now you're her manager. And you don't get paid unless Wendy Williams gets paid. This guy is the biggest opportunist ever. And just to make that documentary juicy, he had to bring out the bottle. Wendy Williams had to tell him, stop, stop, put that away. The guy does not listen. What kind of person? You're being paid by Wendy. You don't even listen. It's just, oh my gosh. Oh, Sarah Rose, I missed you. How are you? Ladies, I know it's been a while, you guys. I've been on TikTok, if you've been wondering where I am. Been on TikTok. It's been going fantastic. I have a dating show over there, okay? We're all the lovers and friends. Go and catch me on my TikTok, you guys. A lot of fun over there. Lots of fun. All right, so Sarah Rose says, thanks for the Wendy update. Just came in. Yeah, you guys, it's not good. It's not good at all. She's being exposed. This documentary was supposed to help her out, but nope. Her addictions are being exposed to the world. It is not making her look good at all. And I think it's making people over at Wells Fargo be like, oh, yeah, okay, that's good. Now it makes sense. It makes sense why we did what we did because this woman should not have any control over her money. She has no control over her life. Okay, this is good. It justifies why we did what we did. Okay, this is great. Okay, and also her ex-friend at the bank. 
is also watching this trailer like, yep, see, see you guys, I told you. I told you she was an addict. She has issues. She's not okay. She's not coherent. Okay. I told you guys, take a look at this trailer. Now it's just also helping justify this lady's story, why she got Wendy Williams blocked from her finances. And by the way, you guys, she does have some access to her money, but it's controlled. Okay. Sabrina Morsey is the one that controls her money, the blonde lady in the middle. And then Will is the one doing projects with her to also make money off of Wendy as well. And the judge is the Burnett lady on the side. Okay. And this lady, she's from the bank, Wells Fargo. All right. She's the one that locked up Wendy Williams' account. She used to be Wendy Williams' friend. Okay. She's from Wells Fargo. All right. So it's just toxic. It's not good at all. It is not good at all. By the way, Janet Jenkins says, how come Wendy's sister can't be over her business and financial affairs? Exactly. And by the way, that's what the sister is saying in the documentary. She's also saying that as well. Like, this is my sister. You know, I will do what I can to help her. But, you know, nobody's giving her access to do that, you guys. Okay. Wendy Williams' sister is concerned in this documentary. She's very concerned. She talked about how her sister just broke down crying in tears. She would do anything to help her sister, but they're not allowing her to take control over her money or anything like that. Instead, they're giving it to third party. Okay? So, yeah, you guys, I wonder why. They were saying that somebody's taking advantage of Wendy and all that kind of stuff, but I don't think that this sister is going to take advantage of her, you guys. I really don't. Sis says... They're going to rob Wendy blind. Yep, you guys, absolutely. Yep, well said. Well said. Especially Will, you guys. Will, Will, Will. Look at him with the money. Look at him with all that money on the side. That man is the biggest opportunist. Will, Will, Will. And he's trying to have a relationship with Sabrina Morsey, according to Kevin Hunter Jr., and you know, this lady looks like she might even be looking for a date and all that kind of stuff. Some of these guys, they take advantage of vulnerable women, career, career, career women like this, who sometimes don't have a man, don't have anyone to give them attention and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? She might be working late hours and all that kind of stuff. All right. So then when this guy comes along, tries to give her some attention, you guys, I'm talking about Sabrina Morsey. She's the blonde lady in the middle. Okay, the one that Kevin Hunter Jr. claims that Wendy Williams allegedly, sorry, that um, claims that Will, Wendy Williams' manager, allegedly has a relationship with. Okay, this is what he reported to the Sun. Okay, he had an interview with the Sun, and that's what he was talking about. So that's what I'm referring to, you guys. So. What I'm saying is if this lady is, you know, obviously looking for some attention, okay, the blonde lady is who I'm talking about, the guardian, here she is, and Will starts pretending like, oh, yeah, I'm interested in you, contact me, Wendy's like my sister, if there's ever anything regarding her, just come through me. Well, that's what that lady has been doing, allegedly, according to Kevin Hunter Jr., instead of this lady going to her son and giving her, him updates, because he was the caregiver for Wendy. He's, she's going directly to Will and exposing all of her information to Will, allegedly. Very sneaky stuff, you guys. Very, very sneaky stuff. Very sneaky stuff. It is too much. I, I do believe that uh, Will has plans. And I think that he's using the Guardian as well. This is just my opinion, you guys. My opinion is not the only opinion. So I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say down in the comment section. You guys, make sure you're liking the video and sharing the video, okay? These are my observations based on the trailer and everything that's unfolded with the Wendy Williams story to date, okay? I've been following Wendy Williams story for years on my channel and it's not looking good at all. 
The only people who have been really honest about what's going on is her son and the uncle. Okay, the uncle is Tommy Williams, who tried to call out Will as well. Like, stop taking advantage of my sister. Stop using my sister. Wendy needs family. She doesn't need a documentary. Okay? And every time Will's called out by family members, he doesn't like it. He does not like it, you guys. It's not good. By the way, Sean Sean, good to see you. Sean Sean says, wow, thanks for showing those pictures. Oh, no worries. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Sarah Rose says, what? Wendy said she would never take off her wig on TV. You guys, yes, it is true. When I saw that part, I had to pause. Okay, let's get back to it. Let me show you. I was like, hold on a second. And I was like, who is that girl on the lap? What is going on here? What made Wendy Williams feel this comfortable to take off her wig? And who is this girl on her lap? And then I discovered it's Black China. And that's the thing, you guys. If somebody has told us that they would never do something like this, it really shows us that things are not okay. At this point, Wendy doesn't care how she looks. She has no self-awareness. Anything goes. Like, you know how sometimes people have that self-awareness or that feeling of like, you know, this is how I like to present myself. This is my brand. I'm not going to make myself look like this or look like that or whatever. But it also shows you that during a vulnerable time in Wendy Williams' life, when she has, she's taken off her wig, she's here. This is a vulnerable moment between her and her friend, Black China. Will made sure that the cameras were around to capture this exchange and this emotional moment. There are some things that are meant to be private. Okay, but Will wants to make the documentary so juicy. Okay, so he's like, yeah, capture her without her wig. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's also make sure we get this alcohol, uh, this bottle here as well that she just drank. Let's capture that on film as well. Let's go out with her and let's capture her, you know, um, out and about also ugh, just having her more drinks and all that kind of stuff. It is just not good. Mm -mm. Not good at all. Okay. But yeah, you guys, it's Black China that you see on the sofa. Wendy Williams without her wig on. Yeah. And that's the thing. If you care about Wendy and you know about her brand and you're her manager, why would you allow her to look like that in her docu-series? Why would you do that? Wendy never even did that in her first documentary. You know, this is how she likes to look. This is how she likes to look. Okay. This is how she likes to look. Put together. You know, Will reminds me of that guy, Dirty Dan. Remember? He was married to that. She was like the black Martha Stewart, even before Martha Stewart. She's not the black Martha Stewart. Martha was the version of her. Okay. Um, once his wife started getting sick, he stopped caring about his wife's appearance and all that kind of stuff. He couldn't even get her to have a weave or a wig on her hair, nothing like that. He stopped caring about her image and stuff like that. She started looking bad. Her name was like B, oh, something B. I don't know. She's a professional lady, um, just a professional lady. She was a homemaker, a model. She was just an icon in what she does, okay? Um, and when I see Wendy Williams being vulnerable like this, it's because nobody cares. Yes, you guys, B. Smith. When I started seeing B. Smith's husband, you know, when he went and got a girlfriend who broke up with her, with him, Alex, and then he didn't care about how his wife looked publicly. He also had her doing some documentary and stuff like that about her life and her illness and what she was going through. I saw the neglect that that husband had towards his own wife. And I see the neglect that Will has towards Wendy. He doesn't care about her image. He does not care about her image. Nope. They, they just don't care. 
you guys, I don't know how else to say it. I'm just being honest here. Okay, look at the publicist, Sean. Does this look like a woman that cares or is concerned? She's here to get paid. She's in the room when she sees Wendy Williams with no wig. Can she even say to Wendy, no, let's, you guys make sure Wendy looks okay. Make sure she looks decent. Nope. She's like, no, Wendy, go ahead. Order your, order your drinks. Let them capture it on film. If people care about you, they're not going to make you look like this. They're not because they understand that this is not going to help you. So yeah, you guys, B. Smith, when I saw that lady not looking the way she would look, that man was not even taking her to the hair salon or anything like that, you know, doing nothing for her. She started looking real bad and he was allowing the cameras to follow her around while she was losing her mind. That was really sad. Yeah, you guys, Black China, that was her earlier that I showed you guys. Yeah, there she is laying in Wendy Williams' sofa. Ooh, I'm telling you, you guys. Yep. Sarah Rose says, poor Wendy, the queen of all media. Yep. You guys, when you surround yourself, also this is the thing about Wendy. She always mixes business with pleasure. She's always trying to do business with friends. And a lot of these people that she had a you know, financial relationship with, transactional relationships with, she turns these people into like her employees and expects these people to be loyal to her. No one is loyal to her, okay? They're just all opportunists using her. I don't trust him either, you guys. I don't. I trust Black China more than I trust these people. I don't think Black China... Black China, honestly, when Wendy Williams did her dirty, the fact that this girl still comes around and shows her love, I give her so much credit. And I knew, remember you guys, when I did that video, I knew Black China was going to not only forgive her, but try to come back into Wendy's life. I knew it. Because I saw that, you know, she has a complicated life and her mom is so toxic. And sometimes people who've been through a lot of challenges in life and everything like that, they have the biggest heart for people. And she has a big heart. She's very caring. By the way, Sean Sean said the whole time when seeing the trailer, I thought Black China was her niece, Alex. You guys, it's Black China herself. Take a look. Yeah, at first, because there's another girl that looks like Black China. She has similar features. The niece. At first, I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe. But then I took a closer look at the face, the body, all that kind of stuff. You guys, this is Black China. This is how she dresses. Take a look at the nose, the head shape, everything. It's Angela White. Comforting Wendy Williams with no wig on in a vulnerable time in her life. It's the very woman that Wendy Williams made fun of on national television calling her homeless. You guys never count some people out in your life. Sometimes it's the people that you least expect to be there for you. This is the person that shouldn't even be there for Wendy. You know what I mean? Like shouldn't even be there for Wendy after Wendy did her dirty. But it shows you that she has so much compassion and so much care and love in her heart. I give her credit for this, you guys. I really do. Sean Sean says, the girl that looks like Black China is actually Wendy's niece, Alex. And Alex adores her. So I just assumed it was her. Yeah, you guys, the niece um, looks similar. They have similar features. That's true. But yeah, it's actually Black China. If you take a closer look, it's Black China herself. But yeah, they look similar. They're short, similar features and stuff. But I took a closer look. It's Black China herself, you guys showing love to somebody who embarrassed her publicly on television. Wendy does not have a good reputation, you guys. I don't make these videos to make it seem like Wendy's a saint. I know I get a lot of comments like that from people saying, oh, she deserved this. This is her karma. She deserved all this bad stuff. You guys, no, she doesn't, okay? Nobody, like, you know what I mean? What Wendy Williams did for work and what's happening in her personal life is not the same thing. You know, in her personal life, she used to be a private person that used to keep to herself and just go home and spend time with her, 
you know, in her house or whatever with her husband and her son or whatever. She was a proud wife. She was a proud mother as well. She also loved working. This was a working class, like not working class, a rich working woman, okay? <laughs> working class is middle class. Wendy Williams is a wealthy, rich woman, okay? That valued hard work. She never got anything for free. She never robbed anybody. She's worked hard for everything that she has in her life. And that's why we respect her. She's also highly educated as well in her field. Okay, she didn't just get this talk show because she was just a celebrity. She started from the bottom. Okay, in radio and worked herself up. And that's why she is respected. If we take a look at her journey, she's done the work. Okay, now her issues in her personal life, that's another story. Okay, that's another story. This is a battle that she's had to deal with. She's had issues in her marriage and her relationship. That also broke her heart as well. You know, her son has her back. And I'm so glad that he, you know, he's in this documentary and he's he's sticking to his story. He's never changed. Okay, the son is is real. Okay, very, very real, very honest. And I really respect him for that. Okay, he never changed his story. He never switched up at all. And I value that so much. All right, you guys. So February 24th, and I believe on February 25th as well, because I heard it's a two-day like series type of thing. On Lifetime, Wendy Williams. Her story is coming out, and it's not looking good. But I believe that um, I believe that um, Big Will and Sean have done everything that they can to ensure that they look their best in this documentary because they actually have the power. It's not Wendy Williams who was the executive producer of this, it's Will himself, okay? He's doing that, he made it seem like it's Wendy Williams because then all her fans are gonna be like, oh my God, it's Wendy in her own words. It's Wendy that did this, it's her idea. No, it wasn't. It's Will I, Will I, Will's idea and the publicist. These are the yes people in her life, okay? Anyway, we'll see what happens. Wendy, we're paying attention. We will see. But it's not looking good so far. The trailer does not make you look good at all so far. Okay. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for listening to another view. Remember, my opinion is not the only opinion. So I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say down in the comment section. Be sure to connect with me on my Instagram at Sunday Omni. You can also find me on Facebook at Sunday Omni, and I'm on TikTok. If you want to be part of my dating show, you're welcome to do that. You must be 18 plus, and you must be interested in dating uh, as well Canadians, you guys. You know, I'm, I'm Canadian. I live in Canada. I have mostly Canadian singles in my life, but people from all over, okay, are part of my single show, and it's really fun. You know, sometimes we have up to 800 people in the live and it's just very interactive and a lot of fun. That's why I've been mostly on my TikTok and not on my YouTube, but I will try to come back and give you guys some updates as well, um, you know, on Wendy, if you guys are still interested in Wendy's story, um, because it's such an interesting story. She's been through a lot, you guys, and um, I just... I'm I'm concerned, you know. I, I see a lot of a lot of concerns here and people are really, really taking advantage and it looks like it's not gonna end. It's not stopping anytime soon. Okay. It's something that's gonna be ongoing from the looks of it. She's in trouble. Serious trouble, you guys. Sincerely. Uh there's no other way to put it. But I hope Wendy will be okay, you guys. She's a grown woman. She's way older than I am. And from my understanding, Wendy Williams, I believe, is almost 60 years old. Okay? So she needs to be responsible for her life. She is too old to be making these type of decisions. She is too old. Luxury doll, great to see you. To be surrounding herself with people who don't mean well for her. 
She has to take accountability and responsibility for her life and her behavior. Because you guys, when you surround yourself with bad people, they will always expose the things that you plan to keep a secret. And that's the reason why Will started bringing out the bottle to expose her in this documentary. That's the reason why Sean, the publicist, went out with her and just watched her drinking. Because that's what they want. To expose her. These are not your friends, Wendy. These are opportunists. She's going to forever suffer if she does not surround herself with the right people. Yep, you guys. Thank you, Sean Sean, for that. Sean Sean says she will be 60 in July. 60 years old at her big age. And here I am, 38 years old, talking about a lady that's almost 60 years old, acting like a juvenile teenager. You guys, bad habits are a choice. This is a choice. She can choose to change her mind and change her life. But this is a choice that she's deciding to make. Everything that's happening to her is her choice. Yep, luxury doll, I agree. She's surrounded by a bad circle of people. Because Wendy has low self-esteem, you guys. She does not believe that people love her. She does not believe that she's worthy of love. She is busy trying to cling on to anybody that will be near her. She does not know her self-worth. She does not love herself. She doesn't see herself as an icon. She's so iconic. Lots of people love her. Even in the documentary, Will was like, oh, lots of people love you. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, she doesn't know. But the thing is, she doesn't love herself. So she's wondering, why would anybody love me when I don't love myself? So Wendy's confused as well. She's wondering, why would we really love her? Because she doesn't love herself. She doesn't think that she's that great. And she's achieved so much. And she's still addicted to fame. And you guys, this fame stuff is not real. It doesn't matter how many people follow you on social media. You can have millions of followers and have no friends in real life. She is so addicted to attention. Just because we all love Wendy, she's not our friend in real life. We love her work. We love the fact that she provides a service for us. She makes us laugh. She's entertaining. She's interesting. Okay? That's why we like her. We don't know her at a personal level. She's not our friend. You can have so many followers. Social media is not real. Celebrity life is not actually really real, real. You get what I'm trying to say? There are some celebrities that if they don't go to certain restaurants, they're not photographed at all. They're just having a peaceful life just like all of us, like just a private lifestyle. But if you want to be seen and take, you know, pictures taken of you and all that kind of stuff, then you know the events to go to. You know the restaurants to go to you know the places to show up because then people are going to be running after you and all excited. But these kind of things are temporary. It's not forever. But Wendy is still addicted to that because she has an addictive personality. She's addicted to fame now. That's like her new vice. That's her new thing now. Sean says, as tough as she appeared to, um, sorry, as tough as she appeared to the outer world, she was very needy and dependent on others, i.e. Kevin, now will, absolutely. You guys, that's the thing. Yep, 100% true. She wants to be loved. And Wendy also feels like she needs a man to manage her career. And I've told you guys this in the past as well regarding Wendy, that Wendy Williams is a talent, okay? She's the talent, but she's not a good businesswoman. And Wendy Williams does not actually feel confident in her own abilities to manage her career by herself. She always feels that she needs somebody to help her manage her career. How far she got, it's because she also had that husband of hers. Even though he was toxic, Kevin Hunter did play a role in her success. He was the one handling the negotiations, the business deals. She trusted him to do that because... Obviously, you see when Wendy Williams does business with people, she starts building relationships more than even what it's supposed to be. How could you make your own jeweler your manager? 
that doesn't have experience managing any celebrities. You see, this is not even a good idea. Anybody would say this is a bad move. But whatever friends she has, she turns them into something in her life. Oh, yeah, you guys, I agree. Luxury doll, you're right. Her toxic ex-husband really betrayed her. And, um, yeah, and that's why you see Wendy Williams. She's so lost right now. She's so lost. Okay? After her marriage ended, it's like she, she lost who she was. It, it pushed her to the edge. It pushed her to the core of her to the point where this woman doesn't even know who she is anymore. Okay? There was so much that she tolerated in that relationship. But this was a choice. This is what she decided to do, you guys. But yeah, her husband was so toxic. Kevin Hunter. Oh, that's so cute. Luxury Doll says she needs some old Jewish friends. I send her mine. Oh, <laughs> Luxury Doll, that's so cute. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you uh, for listening to another view. These are just my opinions based on the trailer so far that I've seen for Wendy Williams' docu-series. And so far, in my opinion, it looks like a mess, okay? It does not make her look good at all. It doesn't so far. And I'm just disappointed because I thought, first of all, this was not supposed to happen, all right? I thought this was not supposed to happen at all. But... It happened. And I told you guys that it was going to happen anyway, even though Will was saying it wasn't going to happen. So there we have it, you guys. Luxury doll, have a peaceful night. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Like the video, share the video, and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts as well on the trailer and if you'll be watching on February 24th. I'll look forward, actually, you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys on my TikTok on my next live, okay? At Sunday Omni. Until our next conversation, cheers.